Good. So it's a nice steady kick. We got them right up to the surface. We just want to think about bringing the back of the legs up to the surface as high as we can. And then you don't have to bend your knee as much on each kick. So you, if you see, if the upper leg is too low in the water, then you really have to bend your knee to get your feet out, right? So we want to just keep those upper legs, their thighs, as close to the surface as possible. That looks great. Now we'll go on our side. Put, yep, put the pull buoy up and then we'll just kick on our side. Both arms at your side, right shoulder out of the water. Okay, so here we have side kick, working on that nice alignment. Good head rotation. So there's no excess lifting. And you can see your body's nice and straight. Okay, so, you know, several benefits to this. One of the benefits is it really trains you how to rotate your head while breathing, which you don't struggle with at all. Your head rotates pretty much right along that linear axis. Good. Now we may want to try and limit the range of motion from the knee down and just try and make it a little smaller. Okay, so just slightly smaller kicks. And possibly try and extend that leg a little bit more. Which I can't really do slow motion. Well, it looks the right just looks like it may not be extending all the way. You know, that's the snap. That's the end of the kick. You can think of, you know, kicking a football or soccer ball. Your leg is fully extended, and that's where you generate that most amount of power right at the end. You may be doing it, I can't really tell from this angle. So what happens is if you start bending your knee too much on the way back. Now the other shoulder out. Was that left arm? Uh, yeah, so that was the right, yeah, now the left shoulder out. So if we have too much knee bend, you know, it starts getting to, let's see if we can get up here and see that. Yeah, so if we get to, you know, close to 90 degrees, that's going to end up slowing us down in the water. Okay, if you think about, you know, kind of bending your knee at 90 degrees and then trying to move through the water, you're going to get a lot of drag forces on your uh, calf. Okay, so we just want to limit that. So just little kicks, maybe 45 degrees. And again, it varies with everyone, but we can experiment around with it. Great inline body position, great head rotation, so you can see you're just drawing a straight line from the middle of your head down your spine. That's fantastic.